chip, boss man. I got this, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the champion, Juicy! Everything starts with that jab. Oh, great uppercut by Joseph Parker on the back. Oh, I love this, folks. I love it. I absolutely love it. The nose lining it up for the big shot. Fedeway gets hit. opponent making his way to the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lupe Solian Laauli Joseph Parker! So here comes Joseph Parker. Big smile when he heard the ring announcer Dan Hennessy use his high chief name from Samoa. Coming into the ring with him, besides the Kevin Barry, Brian Barry, and Taylor Barry, is his uncle Rudy and his uncle Henry from Samoa. Uncle Rudy is his mother's brother, so it's a family affair coming in. This kid turned pro in 2012. Three knockout wins, 2013, four wins. Last year he had five wins. This is his fourth fight this year, three and all. Highly skilled, athletic, very dedicated to training. You forget that he's had only 15 professional fights, but he's still a work in progress, according to Kevin Barry. But he really works hard. He's a big puncher, fast hands, sits down on body shots, moves well. Fourth fight this year, but less than seven rounds of boxing. Last October, a year ago, we went 10 rounds with Sherman Williams and winning every round of that fight. There's the uncles in the Samoan garb and the youngster that Joseph supports. Joseph is ranked number six in the WBO, 13th in the WBA, 18th by box rec, and he's moving up in the world scene. Talk to the people at HBO and Showtime in the United States. I've already talked to Dean Lonigan about wanting him to come to the United States and fight. And Dean and David Higgins and Martin Snitton will decide when they want to do that in conjunction with Kevin Barry, who trains him. This is a big fight and a tough fight for him. As you take a look at the tail of the tape, this is unusual for Joseph because Kelly Meehan is taller, he's heavier, and he has a much longer reach as you see there. Of course, Joseph is younger by 22 years. And now Dan Hennessy is ready to get our main event of the evening underway. Here's the lieutenant, Dan Hennessy. A lot of action here. That's what had happened in the far front. side, Shane, you know? So much shots going in here. Joseph's relentless. And big left hooks and right hands. And Carly's hanging in there well.
Can't you know, be showing Brunson's and he's just to lead people now. He's still in the fight. Great vision by Joe Parker, though, seeing that big left hand. And he, he just blocks it with his shoulder. Here we go to round three. Question it. I ask right now is how much more punishment can Kelly Meehan take before he does go down? But Parker certainly lambasted him in the first two rounds. I scored the second round 10-8 because Kelly was out on his feet twice. If he can control the center of the ring, it'd be a lot better for him. As soon as he gets on the ropes, Bob, well, that's when he seems to get caught with a lot more shots. But Joseph just gradually backs him off into the ropes. There's the right hand downstairs. Back up with the left hook, the right hand misses. Kali doesn't have the zip in his punches at all, and Joseph is just sitting down and teeing off. He's trying to take him out. Oh! The right hand drops Kali in. Kali's flush on the jaw. I don't think Kali can recover. Counts up to five and six and seven. He's not going to make it. Eight! Eight. It's nine <laughs> and ten. Looking very good. He's looking very good. We'll come right back. We'll take a break and we'll be back with the official particulars. What a right hand! Wow! When you're talking about Jeff Horn, this guy is a world class fighter. They already know about him in the networks over in the United States. They want to see him fight in the States. Yeah, it'd be good to see Jeff Horn again. It's, uh, you know, he's you know, one of the best, best, best fighters come out of Australia for a long time. So he's, um, you know, I don't know big big fan over there of, of, of Australia and Jeff Horn will be, be good for him tonight I think he's tested well yeah so everybody up in Brisbane get ready for that one then of course Cali Meehan's after that but back to Horn he's had trouble with the hands about four fights ago that's all healed up he got a bad gash uh, over the left eye last time out and I saw him and uh, talked to Glenn Rushton about it. He said his training has gone very, very well. So he's all set and ready for this fight tonight against a kid who's ranked right up there. He's the Latino uh, champion uh, from uh, Argentina. So we expect a lot out of this uh, Alfredo Blanco.